like the universally unloved 500 liters, the Italian brand's new crossover utility vehicle, the 2016 Fiat 500X, comes available in trekking off or a wade like trim and in slightly more subdued, urbane street series trim. This 500 iteration will be loved, or at least liked, and is destined to be Fiat's volume model in the US while it's the second Fiat Chrysler product to use a noob segment, subcompact platform after the Italian built Jeep Renegade. Visual cues foreshadow the way this appealing little number crosses over toward the versatile urban hatchback side of the spectrum. Skip the trekking models with their faux brush bar front and rear lower fascia, and specific interior trim, and the Fiat 500X looks very much like a raised 8 5th scale Ford or 500. There are no mechanical or suspension differences between the trekking and street series. The 2016 Fiat 500X allows for nice, neutral, balanced maneuvers around twisty canyon roads. Except for the $20,900 base pop model, which comes with a 160 horsepower, 1.4 liter multi air turbo, standard 6 speed manual, and only with front wheel drive, a 180 horsepower, 2.4 liter multi air 2 inland fur and 9 speed automatic are standard. All but the base can be had with front or aisle wheel drive, the latter with a decoupling feature when rear wheel traction is not needed. The $23,200 Easy and $25,740 Lounge make up the Street Series. The other two trim levels are the $24,000 Trekking and $28,000 Trekking Plus. The McPherson strut front and multi-link rear suspensions have been stiffened up compared with the Jeep Renegade, vehicle line executive Art Anderson points out. An adjustable suspension, standard in all but the base model, lets the driver choose among Sport, Traction Plus for inclement weather, and Sedan Forget Automatic. It's the most technically sophisticated Fiat ever produced, Anderson says. It's a statement that should resonate for the vast majority of Americans who are discovering what Fiat is for the first time, even if grizzled veterans all too aware of Fiat's lingering image might compare his statement with the term jumbo shrimp. That comparison diminishes when the 2016 Fiat 500X is 16, 17, or 18-inch tires hit the road. On the freeway heading north from LA to the canyon roads, in auto mode, the steering feels a bit loose, and the lane departure control makes itself known as it nudges the thickly padded steering wheel between the lines. The 9-speed upshifts aggressively, having managed to shift into second even before slowly pulling out of a parking lot though you may never see the instrument gauge show it in 8th or 9th. Our car was a 2016 Fiat 500X lounge model with FWD and a handsome premium cloth interior. The as-tested price is $26,100, which should be close to the average sticker for this model, a good value. Under normal loads, the Tiger Shark 4-cylinder accelerates smoothly, quietly, and quickly enough for LA traffic, though give it heavy throttle and it gets thrashy. The 9 speed still needs work. Switch to sport, and it will hold a gear longer, or it's even better to shift it yourself with a gear selector, there are no paddles. This works well as you continue to accelerate, but back off the throttle when you run up toward traffic ahead and it keeps winding in the higher gear. Traffic blunted this humble reporter's attempt to come closer to the chassis limits on the canyon roads, though our co-driver from magazine Brand X had better luck after the driver change. It was apparent even at moderate speeds that the 2016 Fiat 500X has a nicely buttoned down chassis, with a good ride, handling balance. Sport mode tightens up the electric assist power steering, giving it just the right weight with feel and feedback. Even with the mid-level Nexon CP971 215-55R17 tires. Aggressive damping gives it a firm, solid feeling over canyon road whoop-de-doos. 
Our co-driver confirms the feel from the passenger seat, there is minimal understeer, not much yaw, and an ability to rotate in the corners. It's not as kid really race or radical as the Nissan Juke, but it's also not as harsh as the pricey Mini Countryman. Overall, the first impression is that it would be a competent companion to an enthusiast sports car, though also a good recommendation for your non-enthusiast neighbor. The base pop model, sampled in a short loop around LA, can't be recommended, even if you must have a manual gearbox. The less powerful turbofer makes the 500X feel bigger, heavier, and more awkward, and when the turbo kicks in all you get is torque steer. The manual gearbox feels loose and vague. However, Fiat insiders hold out hope that the stick shift could be extended to a wider range of trim levels and thus to the multi-air too, and, we hope, with a revised linkage just as it was widened for the Fiat 500 to-door hatchback after its launch. Fiat 500 X of Arth, anyone? The hundreds of us who wanted that way would be grateful. We also drove an AWD Fiat 500 X trekking plus on the short loop. Equipped with a dual-pane sunroof, Beats premium audio system, and 215-55 R18 Continental tires, it felt as balanced and planted as the mid-level FWD lounge. But on this short drive, it showed no advantages to suggest the need for AWD or to go tracking. It may come down to your taste for various interior trims, all from pop to trekking plus have nicer material finishes than this price segment would suggest, with thickly padded door panels and armrests. The rear seat has enough space for six footers thanks to a tall seat cushion, though with just a fraction of an inch space below the headliner. If you live in the snow belt, you might think you need a WD, but for our money, we'd go with FWD, spend the savings on winter tires, and play up the 2016 Fiat 500 X's street curd. 2016 Fiat 500 X specifications on sale. May 2015 base price range, $20,900.28,00 engines, 1.4 liters turbocharged SOC 16 valve I4 160 horsepower at 5,500 revolutions per minute, 184 lbft at 2,500 revolutions per minute. 2.4 liters SOC 16 valve I4 180 horsepower at 6,400 revolutions per minute, 175 lbft at 3,900 revolutions per minute transmissions, 6 speed manual, 9 speed automatic layout, 4 door, 5 passenger front engine FWD, AWD crossover EPA mileage. Not yet rated LXWXH, 167.2168.2x75.5x63.163.7 in wheelbase, 101.2 in weight, 2967 pounds show more.